Is your photo library a mess of unrecognisable file names like IMG1234 or 2023-0401-001? Renaming each file manually feels like an impossible task, right? Well, let me introduce you to a tool that will save you hours of work, Bulk Rename Utility. Bulk Rename Utility can be a really powerful tool, but I get it. When you first open it up, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple step-by-step -step flow to renaming hundreds or even thousands of photos in just minutes. And stick around because I'm going to share a game-changing tip at the end to make renaming even faster. Set yourself up for success. First things first. Before you start renaming photos, there is one key ingredient that is essential to quickly rename your photos, a solid folder structure. With names, that makes sense, as that is what we are going to be using to rename our photos. I love to do years and then year month for the subfolders, so my photos get the name of the year and month they were taken. So before you rename your photos, sort your folder names first which could be a bit manual, or if you've used Photomove, another great tool that you can use to automatically sort your photos into folders, it will all have the right names. You can get the lowdown on Photomove on this video up here. But with your folders sorted, let's get on with some renaming. Step one, download and install Bulk Rename Utility. So first, let's get the tool set up. Head on over to Bulk Rename Utilities website. It's free to download for Windows users and despite its slightly old school interface, it's a powerhouse for renaming files. Install the program and launch it. Don't let the interface scare you. It's packed with features, but we're gonna keep things simple today with my simple step-by-step -step guide. Step two, load your files. Now that Bulk Utility is loaded up, it's time to add your photos. Navigate to the folder containing your photos using File Explorer on the left-hand side. Once you've selected a folder, all the files inside will appear in the main window. But you will notice that if you've picked the top folder of your photo hub, you will just get the top line of folders, which with our lovely sorted folders, we don't want. We want to rename all of our photos in the folders. So to see just the files in all of your folders, below the top section, go to the filters area and untick folders, keep files and tick the subfolders area. Then you will see all your photo files in the window from all of your folders. Step three, set up your renaming rules. This is where Bulk Rename Utility shines. It lets you customize renaming rules to fit your exact needs. First, select all the files in the file window so you can see how the new name will look. We want to rename all our photos with the folder name and a sequence. So in order to do that, the first thing we want to do is to remove the current file name. So go on over to the name section and then select remove. Then go to append folder name and now append the folder name as a prefix. And then in the separator box, put in just one space. You'll see why in a minute. Then we need to add our number sequence. To add the numbers, go over to the numbering section, select suffix, start with one, and I tend to choose a padding of three because that gives me enough space. Now, if you look in the window, my numbers are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and not starting with one when it changes from folder to folder, which is kind of a bit important. What you then need to do is go back on over to the numbering area and tick the folder tick box to see it magically change number in every subdirectory. If the subdirectory isn't one of your columns, then just right click on the menus at the top and add in subdirectory, and then you can sort by subdirectory to make sure that the numbers are changing as you would want. Step four, preview before renaming. One of the best features of Bulk Rename Utility is the live preview. As you adjust the renaming rules, you'll see a preview of the new names in the new name column. Double check that the changes are exactly how you want them to be before applying. My pro tip is if the order is not quite working, I sort the files by the subdirectory and then by the file creation date. If you don't have these columns available, again, just right click at the top of the menus and then you can see them. And then you can just sort it and make sure your photo files are following a sensible order of numbers. 
Step 5. Apply the changes. Once you're happy with the preview, it's time to rename your files. Just click Rename button in the bottom right hand corner. Confirm the changes when prompted and Bulk Rename Utility will process the files in seconds. Well, it might take a little bit longer if you're doing thousands. And just like that, your photos are renamed consistently so they are easy to find. Bonus tip, save your settings. Here's my game-changing tip, save your renaming settings as a preset to reuse later. In Bulk Rename Utility, click on File and Save As and name your preset to something that makes sense to you. Then the next time you want to rename similar files, go to File and Recent and pick your settings and you are good to go. This feature is a massive time saver if you regularly rename files for lots of different purposes. And there you have it, a simple flow for using Bulk Rename Utility to take control of your photo file names. With just a few clicks, you can transform a chaotic library into an organized masterpiece. But what if you think you have a ton of duplicates in your photos? Well then check out this video here that will talk all about Duplicate Cleaner Pro, one of my favorite deduplication tools for the PC. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips and tools to make photo organizing easier. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.